Hi and welcome to my video on my expectations and hopes for season 5 of The Expanse. It's going to be on our TV screens really soon and I just wanted to think about what I want to see in this new season. I think season 4 was far too slow for my personal liking. I know this was based on the book that they were at at the time, but I do think that for the TV purpose it really wasn't action packed enough. I think they were towards the end it did get better I think them showing the alien technology and so on that was interesting and I know that the next season season five will be based on the next book in sequence and that has a much more grander sort of story and much more action and much more events happening so that's good and it's going to be more expansive <laughs> I hope anyway the season four's weakness really was I think with the pacing and the change from the space setting into the just down into one planet I'm sure this is important for the development of the characters in the story in the written form, but if they'd spent a little like less time on that and actually focused more on the next parts, it might have been better for TV, I think. Season 5 is, like I said, should be involving most of the planets and action and movement between the various planets in the solar system. I hope we get to see that and see some of the classic sort of Season 1, 2 kind of expanse that we got used to at least on the TV adaptation. The thing that I was thinking about was the change with Mars. I think the Martian society is a very conservative and militaristic society. And I really don't think that these hardworking people who tried to turn a barren planet into a living world would just suddenly give up everything, all their ethos and their mission and everything and, and all the hard work that their ancestors had put into it just because they found an easy way out through these portals where they could probably find a, a already functioning planet that they could just colonize. The other thing is associated to that is this disarmament and then the secondary selling off of weapons and weapon systems because apparently they see no, no further need for them. I really don't think any strategic planner would think along those lines. Even if they were able to go to a different planet, then what if they, they get stuck over there because the earth people were able to find some other advanced technology or develop their own technology and then ended up dominating Mars and Martian society both on Mars itself and any future colony. I think they did set up the new villain and the connection with Naomi and their kid kind of in the middle pretty well. I think that was interesting and will be a very intriguing and exciting sort of narrative to explore in the next season. I do hope also that they don't try to drag this show out too much. I know there are several books, I think there's like nine now, and they want to, they're probably trying to fill that as timing, but there is a risk of if it's the same old thing. They found an alien artifact, it made a portal, they went through, there's some political stuff. Now, there's all kinds of other stuff we're going to see in season five, but basically it's the same thing, right? We have the three powers, we have the new planets, and then they're all kind of looking to get advantage from each other and fight each other and so on. So I don't know how much longer you can sort of continue the story on this in this format and maintain an audience. So because once the story becomes too layered, then it becomes hard for new people to join in and then, you know, it becomes difficult. Someone like me will just watch it anyway, because no matter how much I can, I always like science fiction. So as much as I can get, I'll watch. But I don't know how much they can continue with it or whether they want to do something different. The next thing is just sort of to do with the gate builders and the aliens and whoever invented the proto molecule and so on. So this, I think, sort of, I mean, I'm sure if this were to happen in real life where we find some kind of alien artifact but no actual aliens and then we try, we obviously we would, people would be very interested in finding out what happened to them, where they are. We'd have all kinds of archaeologists and so on and scientists going out to research and find it as much, much as possible. But will it really affect much more of the human society if there were no other aliens or enemy aliens or the original aliens or anyone actually around, alive and present? I mean, even if they went into some other dimension or whatever it is, you know, we just continue with our own things and scientists would slowly be doing their research with minimal funding probably. So I don't know how much of an impact that can have. It really does seem like they're going to go with just the typical sort of internal human sort of conflict now with this new fourth force or whatever um, having developed now. I think it'll be interesting to see. I don't know what sort of, whether they're going to have any kind of moral message or some kind of life lesson that they want to explore or teach. So I guess we'll see pretty soon enough anyway. So I've heard that the show has done pretty well on Amazon since they switched over. 
but I haven't actually seen any actual numbers. So if anyone has any numbers, please let me know in the comments down below. And also just let me know what you think as well and what you want to see in the next season. Anything more of or less of that you'd want to see. Leave a like if you liked what you heard today. And if you didn't like it, press the dislike button twice so I know for sure that you didn't like it. Thanks so much for listening, guys, and I'll see you in the next one.